Okay, welcome back. We're going to today use this foam roller for something slightly different to what we've used it for in the last few days. Um, we're going to look at using it for what we call thoracic extension. Um, so this is where you know we often all get a nail stiff through the middle of our back, so through the kind of rib cage area of the spine, what we in the profession call the thoracic spine. Um, and what we tend to find is that particularly at the moment, you know, a lot of us are spending a lot of time behind a desk. Okay, or reading, looking at computer, etc. And so we're getting a little bit hunched over, a little bit flexed, okay? And that means that then we don't get such good movement going back the other way, going into extension or arching backwards. And that causes all sorts of aches and pains through the middle of your spine, the middle of your back. So today what we're gonna do is use the foam roller just to provide a little bit of a stretch into that area. Okay, and again, it's a really nice exercise, particularly if you just do it gently and do it often, it can really help just to counteract that sort of um, posture of being very much sort of hunched over a keyboard all the time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna position the uh, foam roller on the mat, and we're then gonna lie over uh, effectively at mid chest level, okay? Um, and we're just going to then lie on the roller and then arch backwards over it, okay, nice and gently. We're not trying to snap the back into place, okay, we're not trying to sort of uh, just uh, do anything too aggressively, but what we're trying to do is just get a little stretch out in through that bottom back area. So just gonna have a look at that now. So best thing to do is sort of start in sitting, just position the roller where you want it to be, okay, and then we just find the kind of middle of the spine, I tend to then go arms across chest or you can just hold on to your head. I'm going to go arms across chest and then you just easing back over and then easing back over. So you don't need to necessarily hold this for a long time. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the head version. So we just hold the head here, just going to ease back over. Just let gravity do the work, okay? Ease back over, come back up. Ease back over, come back up. Um, if you feel like that's good, then you can just go a little bit maybe lower, try the same thing. Okay, or maybe you can go back a little bit higher, try the same thing. And the important thing is to try not to bounce on it, okay, we're just trying to ease over. Now, you can hold the position if you really feel like you're getting benefit from that. I personally prefer just to do it more as a sort of slow but constant movement, so you're just kind of easing over, come back, easing over, come back. There is no ultimate right or wrong, um, there's different ways to do it, but that's the way I tend to prefer. Try it out for yourselves. Um, but just remember the one thing is don't do it fast, don't do it aggressively, you know, just do it frequently, little and often, and uh, again, then you'll start to feel like you've just got that little bit less of that postural tension that's created from spending too much time on the desk.